here today, uh, we're putting in a temporary office in a building and we just have one plug in in the wall. We're extending. We need a couple extra outlets. Uh, we have a 20 amp circuit, so we're just, uh, we have our, our uh, original outlet in the middle. We're adding two, one on each side of it for our computers here. And uh, we've got our holes cut for our uh, new boxes here. So uh, we're going to be going outside here in just a second to hook them up, so we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're outside. We've cut our hole here in the, uh, the building. This goes straight into that middle box. And we've cut two secondary holes on the outside for our, uh, our new box. We're going to run a, uh, a uh, cable, uh, conduit, and wire all in one. But what I'm going to do here is I'm putting in a junction box on the outside. It's, it's a little bit easier for me to, uh, to hook up the wires here and run one each way, so I've just got to, I've got to weatherize it. I'm putting uh, screws in it, attaching it to the wall right now with some uh, self-tapping sheet metal screws. And then we're going to extend our cable. We'll put four of these guys in, that way it can't, whoop, that way it can't come off. Oh boy. Well, you know that's what happens when you go on live TV. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> well, we'll okay. be right back. We're uh, going to hook our cable up here. We're using number 12-2 uh, metal clad cable uh, because we've got a 20 amp breaker. So we're using number 12 wire. If you have a 15 amp breaker, uh, you'll only want to use 14-2 uh, because you don't want to over overload that circuit with uh, using a heavier wire and a smaller breaker. So uh, we're just getting ready to hook this up. I'm just stripping it back. You have your black, white, your black is your uh, hot, your white is your neutral, and green is your ground. So then I'm going to stick this up through our clamp uh, because I'm going to use this junction box to do our final wiring. So I'm just kind of pushing this up through the box right now. And then I'm going to tighten our clamp. So uh, now let's see what we can do here. Screws on this clamp are pretty long. Okay, I've got my two uh, different lines coming out of my uh, junction box here, so I'm going to secure the uh, cable right now. So I'm going to got these little cable clamps. Going to put some screws in them just to. It just helps keep the wire nice and tight to the building. Gonna put this guy right here if I can get it. One there. And then we're going to run this cable along the bottom edge of our siding here. So I'll just kind of pull it up. And it, it can be painted, so that's not a problem. So if you don't like the looks of it, we happen to be on the back side of a, a building here. So it's going to work out pretty good. So we'll just do that all the way along here. And then we're going to come up and go through this hole. And we're going to seal around that too. So everything gets good and sealed. Fortunately, uh, moisture is not an issue back here at all. You can see it's as dry as a bone. I put them about every 18 inches, 24 inches. Okay, and there's your clamps. 